Millie, why are you grumping? Is Enzo too close to you? Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely light Sunday. It's my birthday. I'm out walking the dogs. I found the park in this village. It's very nice and I had no idea it was here. And I might have to bring the kids. I may very well have to bring the kids here in the summer holidays. I didn't know there was a park. Um, it's only a little one. But it looks, it's all enclosed. Oh, getting tangled up in the leads. And there's a picnic bench. What more can you ask for? Um, yeah, I found this track. I'm just exploring this village while I'm here taking different footpaths. And I just wanted a little footpath today. I'll do another walk later on this evening. Oh, I found allotments. Oh, this is very lovely. That one's very maintained, isn't it? Look at that, very beautiful. And you've got lots of these wild ones. I mean, that does look very beautiful, but that's not very wildlife friendly, is it? Whereas this, however, you can get your hedgehogs can go in there, you can eat all of the bugs. And you've got this companion planting there of the meadow going through the middle. So you get lots of wildlife. Anyway, it's very nice. Getting quite sidetracked, aren't I? Beautiful houses, look at that, merry thought. That does give me merry thoughts, actually. It's beautiful. Goodness, I didn't know there's so many beautiful houses. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm going on an adventure now, a new short one. And then I can leave these guys just for a few hours while I go and celebrate my birthday. Brendan is coming over. My mum and dad are coming over. My sisters are all busy this weekend. Um, and my brother, he has messaged me and wished me a happy birthday but he's uh, not local so unfortunately I won't get to see him but that's fine um, I'm just enjoying the beauty sorry a bit sidetracked but yes that's what I'm doing for a few hours this afternoon then I'll come back and have another walk do a bit more of my puzzle I've got lovely roulade and fruit and cream for my birthday cake so I'm not actually having cake unfortunately Lee can't have any of it I can't think of an alternative that is diabetic friendly for him to have when the rest of us are all eating cake or roulade or, you know, something nice or a tort or something. just can't think of a nice alternative for him. Any diabetics out there that can recommend something that he could have as an alternative for when we are doing birthdays? Because he doesn't tend to come to them. Can't avoid this one, but he doesn't tend to come to them because he can't eat cake. Or anything like that. Anyway, I'd be interested in your thoughts for what you do for a diabetic person who can't enjoy all the cakiness. Sorry, the dog is not having a poo, he's just sniffing everything. Bit of a sniffy walk. I'm home and I'm opening prezzies. This one is from Ginia. This was the second half of my prezzy from Ginia. Oh, I love that stuff. It's my favourite. Lavender and bergamot, that's nice. Is it bubble bath? Bubble bath. This one is from Daryl and Keith from Campfire Tales. And it has been in my bedroom for a little while, waiting to be opened. Um, and I've got, we've, we've got a gift still, haven't we, from Christmas, which is an Oxford adventure to go and explore now that the sun's out. Happy birthday from us two. Thought you would find this gift useful for your channel. Ooh. It's a very nice bag. I like these because you can reuse them. Places in Oxford you shouldn't miss. That is very useful for my channel. Thank you so much. And this one is from Damon. From Nina the Ambulance Camper Van channel. He's the one that I go camping with, with Rick and Alex and the gang. And he's going, oh, it's all still wrapped in there. Right. Very nice wrapping. Eco-friendly, like eco-friendly. Let's just pull this one, it'll be easier. It's pretty neatly uh, wrapped up. Oh, 
Oh, he's made this. Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. Oh, and look on the other side, it's Spog. Do you remember what he looks like? Yeah, because I haven't seen Spog for... Months. Yeah, I had him for 24 hours. <laughs> I haven't had Spog for about, well, over a month. So I begin to forget. Oh, and it's Spog on that side as well. Thank you, Damon. That is so cool. Oh, he showed me this. This is so cool. Okay, this is a camping light. So he's got one of these. I think actually Rick's got one of these as well. So it charges up with your little USB cable. It's got magnets on the back. I don't suppose it's got any power in it now. Oh, it has. So it's a light of varying things. Okay. Luminosity. Luminosity, yes, thank you. Whoa, that is that. What is it? That's the uh, brightness of a thousand candles. Was it no, a thousand, thousand candles? Mm, thousand candles. If any, well, if anyone is a what's his name, angry Welshman fan, the comedian, then you'll know what that is. Rod Gilbert. Rod Gilbert. But you see, if that's not cool enough, ready for the really, really cool part. Okay, ready, ready. Okay, this is not, oh, there we are. It's a string of lights for when you're camping. You string them between our vans. How cool is that? P-R-T-Y, because you got it. Yeah, P-R-T-Y. And look, rolls up. Thanks! Love it, love it. Oh my goodness. So now I just need to go exploring Oxford with my awesome book and go camping with my awesome light and hang up my awesome sign. Thanks guys. I made a boo-boo. It's from Jen as well. I probably should have assumed that. Um, but yes, it says from Damon, Jen and all the dogs. Um, but look at that card. Thanks Jen. That's pretty. It's one of those flower ones. Yeah, it's nice. Like the flower-pressed one. Yeah. And then someone's drawn bits on. It's really pretty. Thanks. Where do I get all the dogs, huh? <laughs> Feeling popular over there. We're on the floor. Yeah, you are on the floor. Even if you're a dog, <laughs> why are you standing too late? <laughs> Eat them. You're evil. Eat them. Really. Not eat them. Eat them. What does it say? Hope the gift proves useful. P.S. The gift would prove unnecessary if you just have two large Sunday dinners with Goose. Love from Brendan. Hey. Quiet. Not eating the geese. But they're so plump and delicious looking. What if they had little accidents and they ended up in the oven? What if the dogs were to get in somehow? And... You lot would end up having a very little accident. <laughs> Thanks! We've got to go and set it up. Is that filth the marriage on? Yes. Save money on the water bill? Save money on the water bill, save my back trying to clean out the geese. You always save money on the water bill. Yeah, you pay it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, that'll be my thumbnail for my video. Yeah. So I need to find the drill, which is upstairs, and then I need to have that close to hand. I feel like a Dalek. Or a so like the geese will quite like the flowing. Is it going to be like above no. or is it going to be below? Oh, no, it's not on all the time. I have to attach. So what I do is I have to attach the drill to this thing and then the drill draws the water through. Like an actual drill? Through that, like the, an actual drill. Yeah. Apparently yeah, this collects living, bacteria, but I don't good need what? it. Collects bacteria. It does, yes. The good bacteria. That breaks down all the nasties in the water. Well, we'll leave them in there for now. You've got to really if you want to put a sponge in. Can All right, how do I build it? Uh, now put a sponge in. The no. sponge, is the sponge the right way up? Uh, Does it matter? Okie dokie. <laughs> so we're going to set up the pump, which means I need to move all of that. That's just been basically demolished by rats. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Chilly boots, sorry.
Is this Happy birthday, birthday to you. We've got a quick Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pippa. Happy, 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 Happy birthday to you. Why so sped up? Sorry? Why so sped up? Your age is divisible by three, so you can work out what your age is worth candles. Sorry? You asked for them to be sped up. I did. No, I said more oomph. But yes. Happy birthday to you. Oh, look at that. Proper, was Opera. it? Alto, tenor. Oh, no, no, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. okay. hey. 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 The dog. Okay, lights, camera, action, please, sir. Behind you. Thanks. What well, five is very difficult to do, is it not? Mm. Do you not um, touch them. Cut six and have one tomorrow. Or you could cut one and then. I have just found these two amazing dogs. Don't know who they belong to. They came leaded. A little bit worried, hello, someone. Hello. Oh, hi, there you are. Hello. Hello, are these yours? It's okay, owner has been located. They are poolies, um, but she has their coats cut, otherwise they'd be completely, you know, black rasta fur going on. Um, stunning dogs, loved them. They were amazing, super friendly. These two weren't too impressed. Anyway, she hung out the window, went, excuse me, I think they're mine. Anyway, she's taken my card when she realised I was a pet sitter. Oh, we might have come the wrong way, pups. The path seems to have stopped. We might have had a mistake. This might have been a bad, this might have just been a picking up ticks mission. Anyway, um, yes. So she said, well, you know, if I need a pet sitter or dog walker or what have you, said it must have been fate. But anyway, they're called Brian and Henry. Uh, and they're very sweet. Oh, uh, okay, this might be a path. Thing is, everything is so overgrown. No, no, this looks like a compost heap for the allotments. This might not actually have anything to do with the footpath at all. This might just be me getting us lost. Oh, there's something sticky stuck to my leg. Ouch, that prickles. Um, okay, back the way we came. It's an adventure. I think there was two paths. I don't know if the other one's just going to take me to another um, to another compost heap. I do think it said there was a sign, but it was one of those very vague, uh, stuck to a post with a bendy arrow, which I always find just a little bit, what's the word, uh, vague, <laughs> non-committal. It's a very non-committal signpost. Anyway, we'll take the other route, bless you, and we'll see if that's any better. Oh, God. Look, this. Oh, stop hacking, pup. Uh, it's a very sticky leaf. I feel like I've got my bearings now. That is the windmill that I've always said I'd love to live in. It has been done up, and apparently it's not a house. I thought it was a house now, but it's not. They do open days. Anyway, I think... <laughs> What are you doing, Enzo? I think this is the actual path. So I've let them off so that they can explore the grass a little bit. Not be connected to me the whole time. Um, and just hope that this is an actual footpath and that we're going somewhere we should be going. And not somewhere we're not allowed. Oh, oh there's stuff in my shoe now. Good lord. Oh, it's a lace. That's okay. Oh, well, this is lovely. I'm beginning to wonder now whether or not I'm meant to be here. It's a lovely picnic bench. That looks quite new, doesn't it? And lots of benches. Am I in someone's garden? <laughs> I hope not. This is the problem in the UK. Sometimes you end up going through someone's garden because you're on a footpath, and sometimes you think you're on a footpath and you're just in someone's garden. 
it's a little bit vague anyway we'll keep going this way there is a slight path still to the to the grass so we'll follow it I think we're going parallel with the actual road so maybe it'll come out along there and then we can get into the field another way I'm just eating flies now I can see where the dogs were hacking oh, okay we're by the allotment I might have to put them back on the lead that is a more promising sign <laughs> might actually be going the right way but again we are going up the side of someone's garden so and it does end up joining someone's drive it's probably a farm which means I'm probably going to have to battle my way through trying to find the actual footpath and the actual garden uh, oh Enzo why do you keep getting your leg wrapped up in your lead Okay, so the footpath actually does carry on down the side, which is helpful. You can see what I mean about footpaths often getting mixed up. Oh, good lord. Getting mixed up. My shoelaces are undone. Yes, what was I saying? Yes. The two often get mixed up. You often have to come down a driveway. Oh, good lord. Thanks, dogs. To go down a driveway to actually oh, get to where you need to be. Right, let's go. Come on. It's getting ridiculous. Millie, you need to move a bit quicker, love. Thanks. Ice is much cooler. I mean, it is cooler than it has been, but it's still blimmin' hot. It's been a lovely birthday. Had a really nice day. Thoroughly enjoyed myself. Spent time with family. I briefly saw Georgia. They were coming back from the festival, but they said they were not in a situation to stop and actually hang out with us, which... I said to George, in the nicest possible way, I'm glad she said that because we hadn't catered for them. <laughs> that would have been a problem because we didn't get, I mean, we, we deliberately only got enough roulade and fruit for the people that said they could come. We hadn't planned on any extras. So it would have been problematic had she suddenly turned up. I mean, they'd always have been welcome and we would have found something for them, but it might not have been as exciting as roulade unfortunately anyway they couldn't stop so they didn't oh okay we're heading off into the field now <gasps> through the stingers come on pops now you see the footpath does go both ways Whoa. i just couldn't find my way onto that path somehow <sighs> okay anyway we're going to go this way which again takes us down the side of the farm. Um, actually, the road is quite close, so they're going to have to go on the lead quite quickly and then we'll walk back through the village. All the hay has been cut, ready for baling, in its nice, neat little lines, ready for the baler to come along. Right, I've got to get these guys on the lead because the road, I believe. Oh, we've got another field. No, I think we've got another field actually. It's okay. And I guess this is what you call a sty that was. There would have normally been a plank that came out here for you to go over. I mean, most people in the UK are familiar with styes, but if you're not from the UK, you won't be, probably. Anyway, I've decided to go through this. Coming through, guys, this way. That's it, come on. Looks like someone's been through here with something wacky to bash all the weeds down. And looks like we are in a rapeseed field, I think. Rapeseed. Another well-maintained path through there. We've also got some poppies growing. Anyway, this is at my ooh, hip height. In his skylarks in the field somewhere. I believe skylarks are, I want to say ground nesting birds, which I think is why they're always in the fields. Makes me worry about them, you know, when we do harvesting. I'd like to think they heard the harvester coming, but what if they've got babies? You see, vegans, I'm not going to get on the vegan bandwagon at all. You know, you can eat what you like and not eat what you don't like, but. No food comes without the cost of some sort of death, unfortunately. Um, because even your crops, 
often whole families of field mice are wiped out and yeah if you think about it long and hard it's not as straightforward as you might think from a dog level that's what the dogs are seeing <laughs>